Good afternoon and welcome to Pennsylvania Barber School Women's Day event. Today is a special day dedicated to some special ladies. Today is a day about women empowering women, women gaining strength, women not only being wives, but being mothers, being grandmothers, being daughters. We need our women to survive in the community. So today is a day dedicated to the woman. The first woman I would like to honor is my grandmother, Eunice Simmons, who is 98 years old and still sharp as a tack. She's a faithful Christian. She's a member of the Creston Hills Church of Christ located in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Also, today is dedicated to my aunt, Auntie Vine, who is also a faithful member of the Church of Christ, who is also a woman who raised me and showed me certain values of life who always believed in me. Also, with those women living in Oklahoma, it always was a distant relationship where I felt like I didn't have my grandmother or I felt like I didn't have my aunts or cousins. But lo and behold, when you belong to the church, God will provide you. He will provide you with mothers, fathers, grandmothers, brothers, sisters, all through the, all through the blood of Christ. So I say that today. Today, we want to honor Sister Hawkins. Sister Hawkins, thank you for buying me my first pair of clippers when I came home from prison in 2009. You and Brother Hawkins gave me $50 and told me to go buy a pair of clippers and don't look back. And I've kept that promise and I have not looked back. And we sit in a building today thanking, thanking God that if I didn't have that first pair of clippers to start cutting hair again, I probably would have never became a barber teacher. Next, I would like to honor Sister Melita Blackwell, who has always been like a grandmother. Even her mother, Sister Rose, was like a grandmother. Even when I was a bad little boy, when Brother Blackwell would hold me up in front of the church, which I don't remember, but the stories were told. But I do remember Brother Rose, and he was no joke. But Sister Melita, thank you for always being a grandmother, giving me a place to live when I had nowhere to live giving everything you could to help support my mom, to help raise me. Thank you for cooking and providing a meal for the wedding. The story about Jesus taking two fish and five loaves had nothing to compare what you did and what you provided for us on our wedding day. But last but not least, uh, with two more I would like to honor is Sister Howe. Sister Howe, thank you. Thank you for showing me how to be a good husband by letting me see how Mr. John was and how you always supported me. You supported Brianna. You supported Deneen. I remember days of you and Mr. John riding to the barbershop and you sitting and waiting for hours for me to show up to come cut your hair. And because I was caught up in nonsense, you know, I wasn't able to focus. And even after that, you still supported me and you still stood in my corner. So I always love you and thank you for that. Um, last but not least is Sister Carolyn Robinson. You've always been like a mother and I thank you. I thank you. I thank your husband for always supporting me, helping me become the man I am today. Sister Carol, I know that you have helped me in more ways than one that I don't even know about but I thank you for being a friend of my mother, being a sister. So I thank all you ladies for being a part of my life, being a part of my wife's life. But most important, the most important person here today is my daughter, Brianna. Dad loves you. And today we come together, not only to honor the women, but to say happy birthday. Love you.